Good morning guys, today we are doing a short video and I will tell you why because my wife and my daughters created this beautiful video as well about a day in the life of the Bitcoin mom uh, during lockdown in this beautiful paradise Kopangan so make sure after my video you watch that video as well in this video we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price yes we saw a small crash but we don't need to freak out we need to zoom out and I'm going to tell you why because there are some beautiful signs in the charts we are also going to compare 2020 to 2015 and we can see that we are now making an exact copy of 2015 which is amazing we're also going to talk a little bit about this new type of future contract where you can um, bet on the hash rate of Bitcoin hmm do I like this but I want to hear your opinion of course we're going to show you this beautiful billboard of free Ross that was now a New York Times Square and um, which is amazing because why would this guy still be in prison for just creating this beautiful marketplace where we can spend our bitcoins while nowadays this is the most normal thing to do and at the end I will give you some beautiful advice about life and then after that you can just enjoy this beautiful video my wife and daughters created enjoy this video and Good morning guys on this beautiful day here in Kompagan on my office. Yes, another jump into my normal beach. I guys, I know I promised you guys that I would show you another beach or uh, area today, but I have this other surprise for you guys because my wife and her my daughters also created this beautiful family video of the Bitcoin mom and her daughters in lockdown Kompagan, Thailand. So make sure you watch this video also after watching my video. I will add it to the uh, you know video square at the end of the this video so you can click it and just start to watch that one because it's a beautiful video to see the life out of the perspective of my wife from at the same time I will try to show you today this little bit different area than the beach because I will take this turn on to the left on this beautiful beach so you can see what is behind this beach in Chalaklam Thailand I also need to say you guys maybe this video is a little bit less energy than normally because I already recorded this video an hour ago but at the end I found out I recorded this video in the zoom in modus you could almost see nothing of the area so it was on zoom in and you can only see my face so I need to do this video again so I need to walk again which is very healthy so I'm not complaining you are all waiting for the Bitcoin price ow we crashed we crashed Bitcoin is going to zero no guys if you have watched all my latest videos you are not freaking out you are zooming out yes we went to 8900 ish and we are now at 9050 US dollar which is a perfect level Bitcoin has been pulling back to why is this a perfect level I will show you guys because if we look at Bitcoin let's take the Bollinger Bands the Bollinger Bands is this beautiful band you can follow on the chart with an upper line with a bottom line and with a middle line the middle line is always this 20 moving average so if we take a look at this Bollinger Band we can see that now we just fell below this middle line this middle line is around nine thousand one hundred dollar we just fell below it if we look to the left on the chart you can see in the history that like a few weeks months ago you could also see we were touching this midline of the Bollinger Band once or two or three times I think even but then we returned back upwards to the top level of this Bollinger Band yes you can also see at the same time that if you would cross down this midline you can see the bottom line in this Bollinger Band which is around eight thousand five hundred dollar so this is the price to look out for if we would fall below eight thousand five hundred dollar yes then you can start to slowly freak out but till this time you need to zoom out was it a huge surprise that we were breaking down hmm it's always a surprise if you had watched my video uh, like three days ago I think I showed you this beautiful diamond on the chart um, and this diamond showed us that there was a 57% of dropping down a 43% of going up so the chart was right 57% uh, one so we dropped downwards from this diamond how far could we go man we could go to 7k but if you zoom out and look you know at this beautiful daily and weekly charts then I don't see this happening I can see 8500 have a very strong region at support if we are even able to break 9000 
Guys, I'm going to turn left on this beautiful beach to a section of the beach you haven't seen before. Even if you look at this channel I've been showing you the last couple of weeks, you see this channel that is moving upwards. Yes, 10,500 is this top line of this channel. And if we look at the bottom line, yes, we could see that Bitcoin could also drop to 8,500. So the Bollinger Band and the upward moving channel are both showing us support at 8,500. So I really do, wouldn't freak out at the moment, but just zoom out, look at a bigger picture and just chill and relax while you enjoy life. What also is very positive is if you look at the chart of Keith Waring that I shared with you guys like a few days ago as well. No, I think it's already a week ago. Then he was telling us that was a weekly chart that we were in the weekly time frame. We were still in this downwards channel but now last week we broke out we had the first full body of a candle breaking out of this channel and even closing out of this channel the second candle afterwards this week is now retesting this channel line maybe this resistance line of the channel that we followed 46 weeks in this bear trend now is becoming support for the next couple of weeks so that would show me a lot of strength because if we could hold the support of this line and bounce off this one again and create this new weekly uptrend channel i am the most happy man in the world i am now on the middle of this handmade bridge if you can see it and the bridge is created across this river but the river is totally dry as you can see it thailand is in the need of rain and what do we get today? I think we will get some rain because I can see the clouds already forming. So we will probably have some rain. It's very humid as well. So you can see that in the sweat on my forehead, rain will come. So yes, before you freak out, always zoom out guys, because you can see on this beautiful chart Keith made that this line that we broke up from now is becoming support. Don't freak out if we break this line because then we will go back to maybe 8,500, which would be this point where I talked to you about that Jessa was not getting a cookie, running back to her sisters to get more people around her and then come attack daddy and say, daddy, now can we have this cookie? Because then they would be with more people and daddy would melt. This is the 8,500 region in Bitcoin. So if we would break this 9,100 downwards, then we could see falling down to 8,500 where we gather again the courage and the strength to go up again and even break the 10k we have been fighting now for the last couple of weeks. I also guys watched this beautiful video yesterday of Steve Crypto Clue University where he compared 2015 to 2020. I was amazed by this comparison because what we see now is just almost an exact copy of what we saw in 2015. Let me pull up the charts. You can see them over here. These charts show you 2015. In 2015, we had a $315 top from this top. We fell all the way down and then we bounced a little bit up and we formed this golden cross. This golden cross brought us back to the $315 top. After seeing this double top, we bent down again into this death cross that brought us back to a new low and brought us back with a steep fall. But after the steep fall, we rebounced again and we started to form a new golden cross. This new golden cross that was then formed was the golden cross that led to the bull run we saw the two years after. Now, let's get rid of this 2015 chart and let's get the 2020 chart up. The 2020 chart is showing us the same. We fell down from the top 10K downwards. We recovered, forming a golden cross, came up to a double top, again 10K, which slowly bent and then formed a death cross. And we fell all the way down in a huge dip to 3,700, from which we recovered. And now again, there's a new golden cross forming, exact copy of 2015 so let's see if this golden cross that now happened is going to take us to the same heights the 2015 golden cross did for us as well so now let's see 
what is going to happen if 2020 will be an exact copy of 2015. The charts show us it's already a copy till this moment. Now we just need to make this insane bull run to be a complete copy. And then we can understand why charting is such an interesting thing because always if you look to the left, you can see what happened in the past because mostly what happens in the past will happen over again and again and again. This is trading. Okay guys, this is also a reason why a lot of people are now fearing the Bitcoin price to crash below this 8,500 ish. Yes, in a bigger, um, in a bigger time frame because they expect the stock markets to be topping and to be rolling over. This means that the stock market has been increasing a lot in the last couple of weeks and now it could crash. And a lot of people think that if the stock market crashed, that Bitcoin will crash with it as well. I don't know for sure because if I look at the charts I could see that Bitcoin was decoupling from this market the last couple of weeks we could see the stock market going down with five four percent Bitcoin um, increasing with eight percent if in the average so um, let's see if if this Bitcoin is really decoupled of the stock market then the stock market crash wouldn't have a huge influence yes of course if it crashes then Bitcoin will go down as well a little bit but then hopefully it will be to the 8,500 region so that we still keep the support on the bigger time frames. On the other hand, you know, you can also see a lot of Bitcoins are being accumulated in China. Um, I don't know. I think the reasons for this is one, that the president said, okay, China needs to be the leading country when it comes to blockchain and crypto adoption. So that makes people believe the power of blockchain and crypto and probably accumulated as well. And on the other hand, there's a huge, huge economical war going on between the US and China. So let's say China could lose this war as well. If China would lose this war, this would probably create a huge inflation for the Chinese Yuan. So all these people in China don't want to lose value of their capital. So they will be diversifying their portfolio and hedging a part of their richdom into Bitcoin as well because they have seen like you that Bitcoin the last 10 years has been the best performing asset. So why wouldn't they hedge into Bitcoin? Every intelligent sane investor would take a look at Bitcoin if you could see that this is the best performing asset in the last 10 years. And Chinese people slowly start to understand and believe in this. That's why they are so big in mining and that is why they are so big in accumulating Bitcoin at the moment. So it is a huge picture so if you even zoom out from the charts like the daily to the weekly to the monthly to the yearly and then zoom out to the whole macroeconomic system then you can see this huge war going on between the US and China so nobody knows exactly what will happen the next couple of years if it comes to Bitcoin and prices you need to zoom out but if it comes to life you need to zoom in and enjoy every moment of the day don't think of the bigger plan of life at the moment. Just make sure you live life to the fullest day in, day out. It's different than crypto. Crypto, zoom out. Life, zoom in. Then there is one more thing, guys, I want to, uh, to talk to you about. I see something happening in crypto now of which I don't know if I like it. I still need to, uh, to dig deeper into it to understand it. There is this new type of future contract I am doubting guys if this betting on the Bitcoin hash rates is a very honest game. Why it's not honest? Because guys, these hash rates are being controlled by big miners. We have a few huge miners in this world that could drop the hash rate by just turning off their mining equipment. So if these huge miners can influence the hash rate, they could for example take this futures contract and short this uh, hash rate and then turn off their whole mining equipment which makes the hash rate drops and they would make a lot of profit out of this. So while turning off these hash rates and these machines they are not securing this Bitcoin network anymore which is not safe. That was my first thought but I kept reading and thinking about it and then I thought now wait if they these miners want to open these future contracts these are three month contracts then they would lose all then they would lose all the revenue for three months of mining which could be like seven million dollars and if, if they lose seven million dollars of mining they need to make this profit in shorting this hash rate future but 
you know, then you need to play with almost $700 million to even make enough profit to break even. So why would a miner take this risk if he has a continuous revenue and just keeping mining? So I don't think it's a threat yet, but let's see how it develops because it could be an influence of the Bitcoin price, but even worse, it could have an influence of the safety of the Bitcoin network if all miners start to do the same. Let's go to the next thing. There's one more thing I want to talk to, to you guys about. I saw a beautiful picture. There's a huge billboard on New York Times Square with Free Ross and it's on the line by freeross.org. This is really cool. There was a anonymous donator that gave the money to put this billboard over there because he believes that Ross should be set free. I fully agree with him that we should set free Ross because Ross was just a creator of the Silk Road, which was a beautiful marketplace where people could sell and buy goods. Not only legal goods, but yes, also illegal goods. But that doesn't mean that Ross sold these goods or bought these goods. He just provided a marketplace where people could buy and sell stuff. And the most important thing is people could buy and sell stuff with Bitcoin. At that time, Bitcoin was still a little bit like illegal in the minds of the government but now they need to admit that bitcoin wasn't that illegal because now even their biggest banks like jp morgan and all these institutions support bitcoin so why would this guy still be in prison if he just made a beautiful marketplace you can buy legal and any legal stuff on many marketplaces all over the world so should all these founders now be put in prison and um, because they also accept bitcoin i don't think so so if you want to support Free Ross, then go to freeross.org and subscribe and uh, give them support in setting this guy free instead of spending his whole life in this prison because he provided us of the freedom of spending Bitcoin on a marketplace. So I think thumbs up for the one that sponsored this billboard. Thank you for um, showing your support to Ross and uh, let's get the community again activated and supporting Ross some more. I have a second beautiful video for you guys which is a family video if you just click the video uh, is it up here or is it up there click this one i hope you enjoyed this video today but please continue watching this beautiful video of uh, my bitcoin wife and her daughters locked down in this beautiful paradise Copangan, where they show you just another day in their life and it's amazing to see make sure you watch this video and the last thing guys i want to say to you is when it comes to the bitcoin price don't freak out but zoom out when it comes to life always zoom in and enjoy every minute of the day live life the fullest 24 7 and you will live a very beautiful happy life thanks for watching this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and hit or click this bell button so you'll be notified on every new video i make thank you guys and see you tomorrow again Pew.